Yo, what's up guys? How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. Today, first session back in to the, to the gym on lower body. So did a little upper body session yesterday. Very, very casual. Just getting everything moving again. So today, start to test the lower body, get back into the deadlifts, get back into the technique. Obviously, haven't really been able to train this for the past four weeks. So just re-familiarizing myself with the pattern, the technique, timing. So far, we've got like three warm-up sets done. Uh, did a lot of the McGill Big 3 stuff for a warm-up as well as a little mobilization uh, on the foam roller just to make sure the body's feeling good. I haven't really got out and done tons of training, so the body's been very, very stiff. So especially this first week back, really contributing a lot of time to making sure that the body feels good going into the sessions, doing a little bit of extra foam rolling, a little bit of uh, self myofascial release, and just making sure that I can get the best out of this body in the first week back, making sure I'm feeling as good as I can coming into these sessions because it just means the progression is just going to keep rather than hit any injuries early on, which I think a lot of people will be doing. So let's get into this deadlift session. Let's see what we're going to tank. You literally could not script this shit. I just like recorded two sets and realized that my memory card has been full the entire time, but my, my camera just didn't want to tell me at all. So we sat here filming like a penis and nothing, nothing recorded. So, fuck. Three sets left, 200 kilos. Let's see if we can do this shit. <laughs> God damn. So you guys might or might not be able to tell from the videos, but throughout these last four sets, now going to the fifth set, I'm kind of playing around with my stance and starting position and all of them just to see what feels good for my body right now. Like, I've been weight training for, since the age of 13, so I'm 26 now, so 13 years worth of training, and I'm still playing around with my stances for all of my different lifts. So I think it's a really pivotal point to talk to you guys about not stressing about the fact that if your body doesn't feel right right now, it's not the end of the world. This is a long-term development. And yes, there'll be certain days where things just click into place and everything feels amazing. And on those days, it's really important to do like we're doing now, recording, reviewing, and assessing to see what is actually working best for your body, which is exactly why I'm recording all of these sets. It's as much for you guys as it is for me. So guys, drop that ego, get your cameras out, record your sets, see what feels good, and master your technique, because only you can do it. So deadlifts are done. Everything's feeling all right. The one big thing I would say is that I'm feeling like 
I'm lacking slightly in the mid back, which is exactly why we're going to go on to what we're going on to now. So if you guys have seen previously these gorgeous little blocks, so traditionally used for deadlifting off of, um, you know, or doing block pulls, various different bits and pieces like that. We're going to stand on this now and we're going to perform a snatch grip deficit. So we've got a decent deficit here on top of the height to basically help us A, strengthen up that mid back position, really tighten up everything around the thoracic because that is gonna be where we're placing the belt. So the stronger we can make that now, the bigger carrier over we're gonna have when we get to use that belt. But also this is gonna really reestimate really our starting position because you're so much higher off the ground, we're really gonna to have to sink down nice and low. We're gonna to have to get a really great set position and make sure that everything is cemented and solid to then put all of that effort into the drive of the deadlift. So then when we come away from this, we're going to feel getting back into position for the deadlift so much easier. Set position is going to be easier, the pull is going to be nicer, and hopefully it should be from a better starting position. So let's get these blocks in underneath the bar. We're working with about 140 kilos here. Um, I'm hoping like five, six repetitions, probably about four or five sets, just see how things feel. Nice and controlled, nice and simple, really feel that mid-back engage. And hopefully we'll have a good carryover into next session. So let's get this done. Yo, what's up guys? So third exercise, we're gonna do a banded leg press in here. So again, another big compound movement. Not gonna go super, super heavy, but going for slightly higher repetitions, just getting that volume in. We've done quite a lot of slightly heavier, low volume, low rep work. So now I'm gonna switch it up, blast these legs up a little bit, and we've added in this wonderful resistance band as well. So it's just gonna give us a little bit more accommodated resistance to the top range of motion. So again, really help us with our lockouts and lots of motions, especially in like movements like you've just seen here in the first half of the workout. The deadlift, for example, really, really, really handy for locking out that upper portion of the leg press, of the, of the um, deadlift, and just reinforcing the power through the leg drive on this leg press, I think has massive, massive carryover, especially strong man. If you're doing yoke, very different bits and pieces, we are constantly under tension, and you really have to kind of work on that pain tolerance, this. This is the one. New sleeves on. Game time, baby. Right, so finally worked up to a weight that I'm pretty happy with here. We're gonna do uh, two more sets of 12 at this weight. Again, not holding out at the top too much, just nice constant motion through the leg press. Again, just getting the legs accumulated to some workload again. I've done three movements so far. I'm probably gonna do one last one. I might do some stones to finish off with some single loads. But the most important thing I want you guys to take away from this video is that you shouldn't be going back into your training session, training cycle and trying to smash your first sessions out the park, trying to pull maxes, trying to go max effort on anything. Reaccustom and reacclimatize your body to lifting these weights and you're gonna see lovely, consistent, smooth progression 
over the next few weeks. Rather than you coming into your session, blasting the shit out of all of your muscle tissue, destroying your CNS, creating tons and tons of inflammation, and actually not allowing you to get back in the gym for a good three to four days after the workout. That isn't the idea here. We wanna go slightly lower in the weight, and maybe ever so slightly lower in the volume that you're used to, and slowly build and progress back up to where you were at, because your body is gonna take time, like I said, to re-acclimatize and readjust to the process of lifting weight. So give it a try and let me know how you guys go. I'm gonna smash out two more sets on this, and then yeah, then we're gonna load that stone. Yo, what's happening guys, how are we doing? So come to the end of the session now, like I said, gonna come across a think and work on some single stone loads. So we've got the 95 kilo stone. Now previously I have loaded the 145 up onto this highest platform here. So we're actually only going to the second highest platform today and we're gonna be doing it with a 95 kilo stone. So in theory, this is actually quite a distance off of uh, kind of my max effort stone. So we're gonna go five single loads, see how they feel. It's been probably, it's probably, probably, probably been six weeks, I would say, at least since I've touched the stone. So this is gonna be interesting. Did a tiny bit of sandbag work, so let's see if this carries over. Let's see if it comes off the floor. Boom, so there we have it guys, done and dusted. I'm not gonna lie, those stones felt way better than I was expecting. I got like three stones in and I was like, I've never won motion to stone before. I'm not suggesting that any of you guys should be trying to do new things on your first session back from the gym, but body was feeling good. My mid back was really, really strong after all the deadlift variations that we did earlier. The body felt engaged, it felt ready. And hey, five runs deep, that last one, one motion felt amazing. It felt weightless. So I'm pumped. Really, really great first session back. And if you guys enjoyed it, you know, please remember, click that subscribe button, hit that like button. And if my potty mouth hasn't got us age restricted, please share it as well. I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are doing something fucking awesome today. I love you all very, very much. And I'll catch you sexy motherfuckers on that next video. Peace.